Charleston and historic preservation go hand in hand. Today we learn about a very special exhibit on display at the Charleston Museum and why this exhibit is so prominent to the Lowcountry. So this is the exhibit Eliza Lucas Pinckney, A Legacy in Silk. We are putting on a very brief display, Eliza Lucas Pinckney's silk gown from 1753. Not only is it something that's really fine, it's a really beautiful gown, it's made out of luxurious silk, but it's also an example from the 18th century that has a known wearer. Having an example this old of a dress that we know exactly who wore it and who she was is a crucial thing. Also, Eliza Lucas Pinckney has a great history in the low country of South Carolina. She's a crucial figure in the history of this region, and she was important to the colonial South Carolina economy as she introduced indigo and silk production. So this dress is considered a robe à la française, or dress in the French style, which would have been eminently fashionable in the mid 18th century. It's characterized by its kind of three quarter sleeves with ruffled cuffs, a very narrow conical bodice, and very full hips, very exaggerated in style. Think of portraits of Marie Antoinette. To maintain the condition of a dress that is nearly three centuries old is no easy feat. So we have two different techniques that we're using here. So first, I'm practicing what's called preventive conservation. So preventive conservation means careful storage in the best materials possible for the longevity of the object. So we keep it in our main storeroom, which is temperature and humidity controlled. It's in a secure archival box. It's wrapped in archival tissue and then wrapped further in unbleached, undyed cotton muslin, which helps protect it and keep it safe. From there, we also were lucky to have funding raised by the National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution, the Eliza Lucas Pinckney chapter, which was able to have the gown conserved. So a conservator did an thorough treatment of the dress, helped infill places of loss, and helped stitch together any areas that were delicate and needed to be preserved. We took the risk of displaying it on a mannequin for about a week to get good photography of it in honor of our 250th exhibition, but we didn't want to put it on a mannequin for a long-term display. Even that week was a lot of stress and a lot of risk, and it's not something we'll ever do again. The fragility of this dress comes from the age and material. Although it is impossible to calculate the exact cost of this dress when it was made, we can estimate the time and materials it took to create. I believe it would have taken about 10,000 cocoons to produce enough silk yardage to make this particular style of gown. Particularly because the robe à la française typically has box pleats that hang from the back of the shoulders that would have billowed out behind Eliza as she walked. Production of the silk could have taken months to years, but making the dress itself would have been a few weeks with a couple of skilled seamstresses. In addition to the dress, the museum also has a pair of her shoes on display, along with a brooch and a pair of cufflinks that contain locks of Eliza's hair. What we're trying to do with this exhibit is examine the legacy of Eliza Lucas Pinckney. She's an influential figure in 18th century Charleston and she, you know, heavily is involved in the agricultural scene here. The introduction of indigo is what she's famous for. Uh, but we're trying to look at her legacy as a whole. So as a, both a wife, a mother, a grandmother, also a botanist, a plantation owner, and an enslaver. So she's a very complicated history and legacy that still ripples out into the Lowcountry today. So as we celebrate our 250th anniversary, we're trying to look at our legacy as a museum, as an institution, and as a city, and examine it in its whole. This dress, a tangible connection to a bygone era, beckons us to celebrate the ingenuity and resilience that defines Charleston's vibrant heritage. The exhibit Eliza Lucas Pinckney, A Legacy in Silk, will be on display at the Charleston Museum until July 9th. We hope to see you there.